You're watching FE Exam Prep with Anthony Fasano from Pass the FE Exam. In this video, to help you prepare for the FE Exam, we are going to calculate the concentration of a metal compound, Hg2+, also known as the mercuric ion. This problem may be found in the chemistry and biology or chemical reaction section of the FE Exam. This problem was created and solved by engineer in training Enrique Ivers and is brought to you by PPI, a leader in engineering exam prep for the FE and PE exams since 1975. PPI provides expert prep courses and study resources designed to help you pass the FE exam the first time. PPI's live online courses include hours of lectures, problem solving demonstrations, exam strategy sessions, office hours, and a passing guarantee. When you take a live online course, PPI guarantees you will pass or you can take the on-demand course for free. With study guides, practice exams, and more, the PPI Learning Hub offers digital practice and review that you can take with you anywhere you have a device so that you can prepare during the times most convenient for you. Check out PPI today at ppi2pass.com to see all the options available for FE exam prep. Let's dive in. In this problem, we're going to look at the ion concentration within a lake, and we're given the chloride ion concentration, Cl-, as well as the concentration of the ionic compound, mercury to chloride, HgCl2. Although not particularly important for solving this problem, understanding the nomenclature of ionic compounds and how different reactions, different chemical reactions occur will help make navigating these types of problems easier. So we should note that we call this ionic compound, HgCl2, mercury to chloride because as a transition metal, mercury can have different charges based on what it's bonded to. So in this case, since chlorine can only have a single negative charge, uh, it can only be Cl minus or Cl negative one, one mercury ion bonds to two chloride anions. So for that mercury ion or that mercury cation, the two identifies those two bonds per cation. So the single mercury cation bonds with two different chloride anions. So this makes this compound, this ionic compound, distinct from, say, the ionic compound mercury 1 chloride, which would consist of two mercury cations and two chlorine anions and would be written as Hg2Cl2. So with that said, we're provided with two chemical equations in this problem and their corresponding equilibrium constants, K1 and K2. Given all of this information, we're asked what the concentration of the mercury cation Hg2 plus is in M, which is the unit moles per liter. Uh, so our four options or our four choices are A, 8.6 times 10 to the negative 17 M, 4.3 times 10 to the negative 17 M, 8.6 times 10 to the negative 16 M, and then D, 4.3 times 10 to the positive 6 M. And we should immediately realize based on our general chemistry knowledge that answer D is, is incorrect. A solubility this high is uh, impossible. So we need to solve this problem in order to decide between answers A through C. So we're given the equ equilibrium constants for both chemical equations, K1 and K2, as well as the concentration of aqueous mercury 2 chloride and the concentration of the chloride anions. So looking at the information that we have, uh, we should realize that we need to work our way backwards and start with the second equation so that we can solve for the concentration of HgCl+. And then from there, we can use the first equation to solve for the concentration of the mercury 2+. Plus. So since our chemical equations are in equilibrium, 
we know that the equilibrium constant for the equation is equal to the concentration of the products divided by the concentration of the reactants, uh, with the products being on the right-hand side of the equation and the reactants being on the left-hand side of the equation. So with the second equation, we isolate our unknown variable, the concentration of HgCl+, be on the left-hand side of the equation, and there we can substitute in our known concentrations. 5 times 10 to the negative 7 for aqueous mercury 2 chloride in the numerator, and then in the denominator, 2.5 times 10 to the negative 2 for the chloride ions. Multiplying out and dividing the right-hand side of the equation, we find that the concentration of aqueous mercury 2 chloride to be 6 times 10 to the negative 12. We can now continue this process and substitute our known values into the first chemical equation and solve for the concentration of the mercury cations HG2+. The setup is similar to what we did a moment ago with the second equation and equilibrium constant K2, where the reaction constant is equal to the concentration of the products divided by the concentration of the reactants. Just in this case, we're going to use the first equation and the corresponding equilibrium constant, K1. So we isolate our unknown variable, the concentration of the mercury cation HG2+, to be on the left-hand side of the equation, and then we multiply and divide out the right-hand side of the equation. This leaves us with the concentration of the mercury cation HG2+, to be 4.3 times 10 to the negative 17 m. Referring back to our answers, we see that this corresponds with answer B, or option B, and this is the correct answer. I hope you found this week's video helpful. In upcoming videos, we will answer more of your FE exam questions and run through more practice problems. We need to practice, practice, practice to pass this exam. Pass the FE exam will publish videos weekly, so please be sure to click that subscribe button as you'll get expert tips and tricks, including practice problem solutions weekly to ensure that you pass the FE exam. And please, I encourage you to ask questions in the comments below and I will read and respond to them in future videos. Maybe there's a specific topic you'd like me to cover or a question that you need answered. Pass the FE exam will have you covered. I'll see you next week on Pass the FE exam. Thank you.